So in this video, I'm going to talk about what spongy bone is. And so remember before, we talked about spongy bone is always covered by compact bone. And so as you can see down here, it's kind of like a sandwich where the spongy bone is the middle of the sandwich. And so the reason why spongy bone is called spongy bone is quite simply because it looks like a sponge. So it has lots of little pores in it. And so in comparison to compact bone, spongy bone is lighter, softer, and weaker. However, it has a greater surface area than compact bone, and it's much more vascular, which means that it has a lot more blood vessels than compact bone. And so remember, in terms of long bones, um, these spongy bone tissue is generally found at the end of long bones, so near the joints. And so spongy bone consists of things called spicules, trabeculae, and they have spaces filled with red bone marrow. And so the spicules are just slivers of bone, and the trabeculae are thin plates of bone. The trabeculae is a main functional structure of spongy bone. And they're rod shaped, and they provide support. And so you can kind of see them all around down here. And so trabeculae is most often made of collagen. But in spongy tissue, trabeculae is made of, of bone. And so in terms of the red bone marrow, the red bone marrow is a site of production of blood cells. So blood cells are produced there, and the bone marrow fills up the open spaces between the trabeculae. And so it's important to remember that the spongy bone does not have blood vessels, but everything surrounding the spongy bone is full of capillaries and so what this does is this allows nutrients and other things to transfer easily from the blood to bone tissue. And also one more thing to mention about spongy bone is that they have very few osteons and no central canals because the osteocytes are never really far from the marrow space and so they don't really need it. And so this design of spongy bone is actually really efficient. What it does is it provides strength with very little mass. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.